This video is sponsored by Stefan's Boating World. If you're in the market for a boat in Australia, then make sure you check out their huge range of hulls and Yamaha outboards. Hey guys, what is going on? Matt Kelly here. Uh, Happy New Year to everyone. It's been a, um, a really exciting start to the year for me. I've got a few things I want to update you guys on because this channel is about to have some pretty cool content injected into it. It's been quite a while since my last video. I feel like I say that every time I post, which is not cool. Um, thank you to all of those who've watched all of my past videos over the, over the Christmas and holiday period, who've given the old like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully I've got a bunch more cool stuff coming your way really soon. Where that starts is where we are right now. So. I'm in a, a ute that I bought, not a brand new ute, but I bought a, a truck for the Americans. Um, really just, just ultimately figured out that when we had to get a second car for the family, and it was one that it was mostly going to be me, I've got a two-year-old daughter, so... Ahem. That's a little bit better. Sun's right behind me. Um, so, as mentioned, uh, so I've got a, a two-year-old daughter. Now, my wife uh, has a, a family car, and... Um, and so I figured that if I'm going to get a car that's mostly going to be for me to drive, I may as well get something practical. So it's got a huge tray in the back there for all those boat restos that I want to keep doing, which is really exciting. So that's step one to really being able to, to build more. But then step two was, if you want to do more, where do you do it? In the past, you guys would have seen, I did a lot of building of, of boats and restorations on my parents' driveway, which works really well when I got to use all dad's tools and so on. But it gets to a point for them where I'm suddenly storing two or three boat trailers and two or three boats at any given time in their driveway so in December when we made a decision that we we're gonna buy a house out in the, the suburbs we decided that we we're gonna buy one that was that was pretty well self-contained so what that means is an, an epic little workshop space that I can build more heaps of storage for the Razor Cat and uh, the other inflatable that I've got which is pretty cool and um, and What's more exciting is what that space is going to become in the next few months because I've actually just purchased plans to build a boat from scratch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a plywood fiberglass boat. It's going to be a small tinny style boat, roughly 3.6 meters, so not huge. Um, what's that, 11, 12 feet? Um, so not a big boat, but a boat that I decided that I want to learn how to fiberglass properly because as many of you guys see my past videos, my fiberglass skills are very, very minimal and I've used bog to fill holes and it's like I know that there is a better way to do it and I want to learn how to do that properly and I figure the way you do that properly is by going all in. So. My goal is to start that project in the next couple of weeks. I've acquired all the tools that I need to do so, which is pretty exciting. What I really need to do now, sorry if it's light by the way, it's trying to get the light behind me and it's very bright and so on. So anyway, bear with me. Um, so I've got all the tools, I've got the space I need, I've just got to get a few more supplies and um, and I'm and the, the two scale plans will arrive very, very soon. So pretty exciting. Um, it's going to be a big project and one that I'm probably not going to try and rush quickly so it'll be one that I do over a period of time rather than past boats where I've done them effectively over a few weekends and um, and then fed out the, the videos all at once which is cool and it definitely is a, a fun way to make progress but I want a project. I want something fun that I can learn. So that's the plan. Um, please bear with me over the next few months as I A, learn, I, as we've said many times before and as many of you pointed out, I'm certainly not an expert, but I really enjoy doing this and I figure it's a, a great way to learn is by doing and then getting feedback and talking to smart people and getting feedback from you guys. So that's the plan with those with that, that set of videos, which I'm hoping to start very shortly. And um, yeah, just wanted to give you guys an update more than anything else. I've had a little bit more work done on the Razor Cat, a few little modifications, a few little repairs. It's looking really, really good and got running very well. A recent uh, service has just cleaned it right up. So, um, a few more little goes out in the Razor Cat and videos there. I don't intend on selling that. I love that boat. It's so fun. It's fast. It's interesting. I really enjoy it. So, I'm going to keep the Razor Cat for as much as many of you guys hate that. I'm definitely going to keep it. And, um, and yeah, this other boat is more about a project than anything else. So, as I said, bear with me. Don't forget to give the channel a subscribe. I know so many of you guys see the videos, especially the big restos. Um, if you want to see more, make sure you hit that, that subscribe button down the bottom there. And yeah, thanks so much for bearing with me. Happy New Year, everyone. I know we're already in February now. That's gone crazy. But Happy New Year all the same. And um, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much and peace out.